Hi all and welcome to another Rack Nerd tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Cloud Panel. Now Cloud Panel is the easiest way to run PHP app in a cloud and this is very very true. It is such a clean interface unlike Cyber Panel that gives you additional features like mail this really focuses on just running your php app it manages all the databases it gives you a really nice view like you can see here um, of your cpu usage your memory usage your disk usage and the overall load average of your cores so i'm going to show you how to install this head over to our vps control panel we need to install debian i have already got debian in here but i will reinstall it and we will click debian 10 and we'll hit reinstall and we'll go yes okay so we're going to connect to our virtual machine we're going to bring up our terminal window here and we're going to go into ssh root and then our ip and i'll just type in my password perfect now um, i'll head over to our github page and as you can see uh, we've got cloud panel dash auto install now i like to make it a little easy for people so i just like to create these uh, install files that is just a one hit install so what we'll do is we'll click that copy this link wget paste it in there perfect and then we'll just go bash install this will go ahead and update all of your system but also install cloud panel okay so as you can see it is now set up so we can just copy this and we need to head back over to our web browser we can paste that in it's going to ask um, do you want to accept the risks because we don't have an SSL certificate installed yet so we'll go accept and now we can create the admin user account so I'm just going to go Dave Cooper Dave dot Cooper put in my email address my password and my time zone let's just go Australia Sydney even though I'm not I'm not there but just agree to that and create user and now we can log in with our username and our password and here we are such a nice looking interface there's our CPU usage it's uh, three cores and we've got six gigs of memory the average um, load that we have on it at the moment and our current disk usage. Now I'll take you through the options. There's loads here, but um, we'll just do the, the main ones. Um, so you've got your dashboard and then you can click domains. So you can add your domain here. So for us, um, we've got this running under cloud.racknerddemo.com. So it's gonna automatically generate a document route, which will be under this um, on your server. And you can upload files to that directory. So now you need to choose a virtual host template. Um, we're just going to choose a generic one, but there are other options here which are optimized and configured for various platforms. So, but we'll just do a generic one. You can also select your PHP version, which is pretty cool. We'll leave it on PHP 8 and we'll just go add domain. So now the domain's added, we can click on the domain here and we can modify the PHP settings. So you can change a lot of variables and add some if you wish there, which is pretty handy. Um, you can look at the virtual host file, um, make your changes in here. Um, and then you've got your basic authorization where you can enable it and add users to access your server, which is fantastic. This is from the web end. Um, and then to install an SSL certificate, it automatically has a self-signed. We can go up to actions here and we'll go a new let's encrypt certificate and it's just warning you that you need to point your dns records um, to the virtual machine that we're on we already have done that so we can click create and install so as you can see there's a self-signed certificate but we've also got the let's encrypt certificates um, we can click on security now one thing i like about this is it's really easy to um, block an IP address um, you just add an IP 
or a range and you're good to go. And then um, we can go to our users tab and you can see you can create SSH users to log into your server and you can also create FTP users for each domain name. So we can go add user, put dave-ftp, put in a password and you can put it into the directory that you want. Um, this will be jailed. So if you want a master account to manage all your domains, we can just leave it in the root and we can go add user. And so now um, you can log in with those uh, credentials and you'll be able to access that. And you can change it by clicking on the actual username and changing the domain name. I think this is super helpful because um, it's just an easy way to get your files there. And then moving on to databases, you can create a database. Um, now, in my experience, um, they do have PHP admin here, um, which you can log in and create databases. But I have had issues saying that it can't create a database. So the way to get around that is to add a database from here. So we can go um, rack nerd and we can say rack nerd is our username, put in a password, add a database, simple as that. We can click on the database, you can set up backups and then PHP admin, you can click on that and as you can see, there it is, um, our database. Heading back, you can create some cron jobs and um, you can also see your services that you've got running. So that completes the basic um, overview of Cloud Panel and how to install it on your Rack Nerd VPS. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us and thanks for watching this tutorial. More to come and have a great day.